Preventing type 1 diabetes seems not only possible, but probable. Type 1 diabetes is a lifelong autoimmune disease that commonly develops in children or teenagers. It develops when the immune system is unable to tell the difference between harmful germs and viruses and the body's own cells and tissues. So the immune system attacks the body's own insulin producing beta cells. One way to prevent type 1 diabetes could be to retrain a dysfunctional immune system to recognize the beta cells as part of the body and stop the attacks from occurring. Current therapies do not adequately address the root cause of type 1 diabetes or prevent complications. Because of this, our researchers are investigating type 1 diabetes from many different angles. Can we trigger damaged beta cells in the pancreas to regrow or repair themselves, or replace them with a transplant of new beta cells to improve insulin production? Can we prevent cells attacking the pancreas as the autoimmune disease develops? Can we use a genetic screening program to record gene changes and identify people at high risk? Using whole genome sequencing in combination with state-of-the-art genetic screens to identify significant disease-causing genes and their mutations, we have sequenced the entire genomes of 50 individuals with type 1 diabetes. This has shown us how changes in the A20 gene contributes to diabetes susceptibility and also enhances rejection in islet transplantation. Islet transplantation therapy is the transfer of insulin-producing structures, called islets, from a healthy donor into the liver of another person to restore cells that are glucose responsive. Our researchers are investigating ways to use the A20 gene to improve islet transplantation therapy to make it a clinically realistic and attractive therapeutic option for all living with type 1 diabetes. We are currently investigating ways to prevent the immune attack that causes type 1 diabetes and have developed a vaccine that increases the number of regulatory cells and reduces the amount of warrior cells within the immune system in experimental models which we hope to soon explore in human trials. This could allow people to retain the ability to produce insulin and maintain it long-term in the future. Through our research, we believe that it is possible to train the immune system of people with type 1 diabetes to repair their own insulin-producing cells. It will take time, but a future without type 1 diabetes, it's within reach.